It's our favorite time of year and our favorite place to be. It's fall in sunset country. And this week we are on the shores of famous Eagle Lake. This is going to be quite the deal. You know, we're gonna go after musky. Barely hooked, barely, barely hooked. We're gonna go after walleye. That's what you come up here for. We're gonna go after smallmouth bass. It's so beautiful up here, so much fun. It is fall, so we're gonna go crack a few grouse as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous Ontario bird. This is an awesome place to be this time of year. You never know what you can catch on Eagle Lake, and we're at a cool place right in the center of the lake, Birchdale Lodge, so hopefully we get to see some big fish come on board this trip. It's gonna be good, I can be tell fun. you that. Oh, that thing just smashed it, Ty. You got a big one? I don't know if it's big, but it was a good bite. It was exactly what we were hoping for. Oh, great walleye. Get him over here. Boom. Oh, it's, I think I can lift him. A little big for lifting, but hey, it's easier than trying to get the net out of. We've got a little of everything going on right now. We're on a mission where we're fishing for some walleye. Hopefully we'll run into some bass. Looking for a big muskie. The idea today is to come up and appreciate some great fall fishing. And this can be a time of boom or bust, really. So I'm gonna get this guy back and we're gonna keep on a mission to try to find some big walleyes, maybe a big muskie, some smallmouth, a little bit of this, that, and the other thing, and tell you what you need to have on a trip to Sunset Country, Northwest Ontario, Canada, to catch everything that swims up here. There we go. <laughs> I just saw a nice mark. Put the jigging wrap back on. That's nice. a nice fish. Nice fish, aren't they? Sweet. Oh! No! Oh, it came off. God oh, darn. I saw a couple big marks, too. Yeah. Jeez. Just switch the jigging wrap and just two pumps and you oh. drilled it. Big one? Feels nicer, Ty. Like a good fish. These big humps can be the deal. Time of year. I would never come up here without a jigging wrap. Oh, really nice fish. Yep. Great fish. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Beautiful fish. That's a great fish, man. Wow, isn't that a beautiful fish? That's what you come up here for is these beautiful, beautiful walleyes. And you know, fall is a time of consolidation where it's worth spending a lot of time using your electronics looking at different spots. There can be fish shallow, there can be fish deep, so you really gotta spend the time looking around to see where the fish are. And we'll change our presentations based on where the fish location is. One of the best techniques we've got for fishing deep water, we're talking humps that are like 25 to 35 feet, is the jig and wrap. That is just an absolutely deadly technique. That's what this fish came on, and it looks like there's a whole pile more of them up in front of us. But we've covered a lot of water, not seen much, and then boom, we just landed on a school of these beauties. Let's get it back. There we go. So it feels a little better. This feels better, that's yeah. good. Oh, yours is very nice. Yeah, Great it. fish, slot fish, huh? <laughs> Great fish. Eagle Lake actually has a slot out here, which most lakes do, obviously, in Canada. What'd you say it was, Jer, is 18 to 23? I believe so, yes. Which is very, a very great idea as far as growing big walleyes and, and controlling a really good population of walleyes in the system, which Eagle Lake does. I mean, it's slots work. That's all there is to it. And Eagle is a perfect example of that. Boom. When it comes to fishing the jig and wrap, you know, a lot of people think that it's like you do ice fishing where it's just straight up and down and, and that does work, but we end up, you know, that fish I was actually pitching. A lot of the fish that we catch on this are actually casting it. So it, it falls really fast, so it's no big deal to fish that 25 to 30 feet really effectively. And you just let it hit the bottom, bang, pop it up, let it hit the bottom, bang, pop it up. As you can see, it's an erratic, presentation. I'm ripping that jig and wrap. You, you see a lot of slack line. And what's key to that is, number one, watching your line jump. Number two, having a longer rod so you can be able to, to leverage that fish. Number three is a, a bigger arbor. I'm using a 2500 ballistic. And the reason that I'm using that 2500 is you can pick up that slack and catch up to that fish when they when they grab that, that uh, jig and wrap on the drop. Oh, that thing dropped. Right on the drop and just picked it up. Like oh. just what I was saying, watch that line jump. That Whoa. is the best. Just the best. Set the hook, get that leverage with that longer rod. A small one, but definitely uh, starting to really get into them. About that size, you don't get big ones, right? They grow bigger. So there is a little bit of technique to the jig and wrap. 
The rod that I've got for this is a specialized piece of equipment. This is St. Croix Icon. It's a seven foot one, medium power, moderate fast action. It's, it's their jig and wrap rod. It's made for jig and wrap fishing. And then I've got a size 2500 reel on here. This is a Daiwa Regal LT. Great reel setup. Braid, 10 pound, suffix 832 and high vis yellow. And then just a chunk of 12 pound, suffix advanced fluorocarbon. So that's the setup I've got. I've got a little swivel here to prevent line twist, but I'll show you a couple things that make this combo so, so deadly. One is the handle. You can see when I jig and wrap fish, I like having my entire hand in front of the reel seat. So that gives me a lot more leverage. And then what I'm doing is I'm making sure if we're in the wind here that I'm lined up and I've got the rod resting right underneath my forearm here. Ooh, ties hooked up one after the other. I'll share with you how I finish the jig and snap in here after Ty catches his nice walleye. Looks like a good one, Ty. Definitely, definitely better fish. Better fish. Ooh, that's a really nice fish. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, we're a lot of slot fish now. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful fish. There we go. Look at that. That one actually might be. That's definitely in the slot. That's a great fish. Look how fat and healthy they are. That's the beauty of fall fish. They're just tanks. They got their feed bag on this time of year and they are eating. You know, we just went through a pretty darn good cold front. And typically you think, wow, that's going to just shut fish off. But this time of year, they are preparing for the winter. So they are putting the feed bag on and they are getting all fattened up for the winter time. So it is an awesome time to come up to Northwest Ontario, Sunset Country, Eagle Lake, and just hammer on walleye after walleye, and we're catching walleyes of all sizes. Get them back. So with the jig and wrap, the idea is you really want to snap the bait. If you're just taking the, the rod and kind of lifting it and letting it fall, lifting it, letting it fall, it doesn't have nearly the effect as it does as if you give it that good, just quick bang. And then you want to let it fall on slack. So it's bang, oh, just like that. <laughs> just See like that? that? You let it fall back on slack. That's the whole, the whole secret to making this thing work. And notice how I've got the rod in real position in my hand. I'm using the butt of the rod up against my forearm. So that gives that, that prevents me from fatiguing. And then I've got my hand in front of the real seat. So I'm not putting a lot of leverage on my wrist. It makes it really easy. I'm just using my bicep to pump the stick back and forth. And it's just really, really, not as tiresome as if, if you're trying to do something with uh, the wrong type of program. That's not too bad. Yeah. Fall can be a time where there's like, um, there's really like fish deserts out here. I mean, just big areas that don't have a ton of fish, but I mean, it's just like when we find fish, it's bang, 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 bang. If you don't do a ton of muskie fishing, trolling is one of the easiest ways to go about covering water and learning a lake. A lot of this Canadian shield Water is it's vast, there are so many spots it can seem intimidating, but when you put the boat in gear and you're cruising around between three and four miles an hour, that's the typical muskie trolling speed, you get to learn a lot of water and see a lot of cool habitat. So I really think it's a great way to approach learning new water and it's especially effective when you get adverse weather conditions. As you can see right now, it's gotten really cold, it's gray, it's super windy. So just putting the, the motor in gear, driving around a few miles an hour, you can just learn a ton of water and it's a really effective way to catch big muskies. That's good. That's a fish. <laughs> That's a fish. I think he might have came back and got it. I might have had a hit there. What do we got? I don't think it's a huge fish, whatever it is, but... Boy, that didn't take long, Ty. No, it didn't. Oh, it is a huge fish. It's a gigantic musky tie. Ready, I'm ready. We, uh, we're dealing with the cold front here and thought, man, oh man, our hands are getting cold. We should probably try trolling for a little bit. I mean, this is five minutes into the troll. Here, it's coming towards you, it's coming towards you. Nope, it's going the other way. It's barely hooked, barely hooked, barely, barely hooked. Coming, coming right here. Oh. Oh, this is big, big. This is a big one, boys. See if we can do a tie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh yeah. man. And it's up. He came up. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> this is what it's all about, man. This is such a cool deal up here. I mean, an Eagle Lake Magnum. This a thing magnum. is a giant. Jared's like, you want to switch? Uh, 
presentations and he knows how much I love to troll for muskies because it's always been a successful way to catch muskies up here, big muskies up here. Him and I have done it many times on Eagle together. And we seem like we always catch a mammoth pulling big bait. Oh, whoa, heavy, whoa, heavy fish. What's the size of that thing? <laughs> Fall in Sunset Country is absolutely the time to come hunting giants. Eagle Lake is one of my favorite places on planet Earth for this reason, and October is very, very special. There we go. Nice. Ooh, that looks a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, double tie. Double. All right. It's a good one. It's amazing how once you find them, you really find them, don't you? <laughs> Just load it up too, aren't they, in that one spot. You got a nice one? It feels really nice, yeah. This guy doesn't want to give up. I'm actually gonna net this one. Oh yeah, I got a tank. Oh, Real no. nice fish. Real big fish, yeah. All right, oh yes, a great smallmouth. And we have landed on a pile of them. Now what's fun about the smallmouth is that they're kind of a challenge to find. They're pretty aggressive. You know, just that jig and plastic works great, but they're often really concentrated. Mega, mega, mega schools, and we're hoping that's what we landed on here. It's all about exploring up here, and man, we landed on a pod of great fish, and Ty's got a pretty good one, too. You know, it's just a simple technique what we're doing. It's nothing too extravagant, nothing too difficult. Jig and a plastic, just roll it on the bottom. These, these uh, smallmouth are right on top of the rocks in the bottom. We're just slow rolling over the top, and they're picking it up. For catching a lot of fish up here and doing a lot of different techniques, you really don't need a lot of equipment. Granted, we've got some specialized stuff for doing specialized things, but really, if you came up here with a spinning rod that was a seven footer, medium power, fast action, a size 2500 reel, 10 pound braid, some 10, 12 pound fluorocarbon leader, a handful of jigging wraps, a few jigs, a few plastics, you can really catch just about everything in here with the exception of, you know, maybe some some musky fishing. Oh, <laughs> this one, Ty? Yes. Oh, no, oh, right there. Another one. Feels decent, Ty. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, yeah. Dancing. <laughs> He's a little dancer. Not bad. I'm going to flip him in the boat. Ah, got him right there, huh? Nice bass. And I'll show you the, um, the retrieve that we're using to catch these fish. It's a little bit different than you'd often use when you think about like snap jigging for walleye. Get him back and I'll show it to you. So the retrieve for this is really simple. I'm just casting it out and letting it hit the bottom. And once I've got bottom contact, I'm basically I'm just pulling it. Pull it along a little bit, pick up the slack, pull it, pick up the slack, and then I'll make sure that I'm close to the bottom. I'm not doing the, the classic snapping. It's really just all I'm trying to do is kind of hover that bait just above the big boulders. And that's where these smallmouth love to be in the fall. The biggest, ooh, Ty just missed one. The biggest round rocks, biggest boulders. You get in an area like that and you just kind of hover that jig above it, a three eighths or a quarter, depending on the depth and wind conditions with a three or four inch plastic. And it's just bang, 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 bang. <laughs> nah, I got her down. Brownie? Oh yeah, brown, brown, brown. Oh, beautiful. Brown. That's a beautiful bass type. Beautiful. Ooh, looks like our multi-species mission is complete. That's a nice bass. Oh, look at that. I'll tell you what, where else can you go besides Ontario and just do a multi-species run of walleye, smallmouth, muskie, probably catch maybe a pike. Nice All in one area. It's so beautiful up here, so much fun. Look how fat that thing is. You know, when I think of Ontario, I think about traditions, whether it be making new traditions or moving forward with existing traditions. Jeremy Smith and I have been coming up to Northwest Ontario Sunset Country for a number of years, chasing grouse. Not that one. I'm in love with this part of the world and spend so much of it on the water that it's really a fun experience just to go hike these backcountry trails, go driving down some of these old gravel roads and see this beautiful wild country. It is true wilderness up here. It's just a great way to see sunset country, great way to see Ontario, and there's something delicious at the other end of the trail. I love it. If you appreciate public lands, public hunting, opportunity to experience wilderness and the vastness of this place, I mean, if 
if you want to just explore, I mean, I, I don't know anywhere else, maybe besides the American West, where there's this much public land that is just available for anybody to take advantage of these hunting opportunities. It is spectacular. This is just so, so cool. and such a special experience to be able to do something like this. A beautiful animal like this. It's going to be delicious. And man, oh man, the scenery is something else. I can't get enough of this place. It's like going to a fly-in right now. Just catching them one after the other, huh? You don't care where you go, you catch as many walls as we are catching today. It's just Not an absolute ball. Looks like there's still fish underneath us. Huh? Looks like there's still fish underneath us. Huh? <laughs> just he says that. Feel a clunk. The nice thing about, Jerry was, Jerry was just talking about, a, it's like a fly-in. Nice thing about coming to on a drive too, you can bring your own boat. Bring a ton of equipment for multi-species fishing, which I mean, this lake has got, Eagle Lake has got it all. It's got trophy-sized fish of all species, and it's got numbers. Jeez, that's a fat fish tank. Just look at that. Healthy, healthy, there, healthy. That is a beautiful walleye. There's a nice one. Feels like That feels like the right kind of fish tank. Okay. Well, I'll net it for you. You know, I don't, you, you know how it is. Sometimes you get... Nope, you said it's a big one. It's got to be a big one. Let's hope. Let's hope it's a big one. I know there's big ones in here. You have caught, <laughs> I know you've caught a lot of big walleye up here. That's what that, this lake is good for. Wow, wait till really you see this thing. Eagle Lake is absolutely a trophy destination. That is a beautiful fish. We've caught tons and tons of fish. Quality fish like this. Fall is an amazing time to get on some great action and some really true giants. I tell you what, our trip to Birchdale has certainly been one that we'll remember for a long time. Not only did we catch a lot of walleyes like this, but we killed some grouse. We caught a big muskie. We just had a blast.